Yeah. What's good? What's good? It's outside Joe. Here to talk to y'all some more NBA free agency. This time, you know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be a Knicks part two slash Los Angeles Lakers. Um now the Knicks they signed back Taj Gibson. Um now I said that and I'm and I was a little wrong on uh, what I said last night with the Evan Fournier. Um Evan Fournier is gonna be their um it's going it's gonna be their starting two and Rose is gonna be their starting point. Which is a smart move, and that's what I wanted anyway, to be honest. So their backcourt, their whole starting lineup is going to be Rose, Evan Fournier, Barrett, um, Randall, and Mitchell. Then your rotation, you got Quickly, Burks, Grimes, Taj, and, and Noel. Um... So, yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, they could do better. They, they could have did better as far as the two. But um, 48 could play. He could give you, I was looking at his stats, like last year, before he left, before he got traded, he was having... Stand this noise. Before he got traded... He was averaging like 19 a game, 19.7. So we got a guy, and if you and if you if you Google um, Evan Fournier's like uh, career stats, yo, my man, my man could ball. He could ball. Um, he could put up a good 16 to 20 a game, and that's something that we really need. And he could shoot. So, I mean, like I said, I gave the Knicks a C, C plus. Plus, you got Rose playing the point, which is smart. And I think this, I think this year, I mean, Rose, he's getting up there in age, yeah. But I think this year is the year for Rose to really bounce back and to be that point guard. He's not the old Rose, but the old Rose was young. This is the older roles, more experienced roles, roles that knows how to play the point roles. And we'll take it from there, you know? Um, so, so yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. Now, I'll be real with you. Um, this, this upcoming season, this next season, Mitchell is going to be watched. Mitchell, he got to really step his game up. Last year was an unfortunate year because he dealt with unfortunate unfortunate injuries. You know, kind of like freak accident, freak accident injuries. So this year coming up, next offseason, you know, he's going to be watched. You know what I mean? He's going to be watched because... Um, I believe the next offseason, they're going to try to look for a big. So Mitch better step up. He averaged, I mean, the most he ever averaged in his three years was 9.7. So next year, if he could put up a good 10, play D, defend, that's all, that's all we need from him. You know what I mean? That's all we need. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, now, and again, my final say on the Knicks, the East is going to be tough. The East stepped their game up. Um, I got the Knicks anywhere between five and eight in the seed next year. Between five and eight. Um, you know, I'm going to leave it like that. I mean, they kept the same core guys. They added a couple pieces, but they got the same seven, eight guys. So, you know, they have a chemistry going, you know what I mean? So, um, we'll leave it like that.
I got them between fifth to eighth seed, anywhere between there. Now, um, I'm getting, yo, the Lakers. Woo! Yo, this is next season, championship or bust. It is what it is. Um, now, despite Russell, you got Melo. You got Ariza, Kent, Bazemore, um, Dwight Howard. Um, who else? Melo, Kent Bazemore, Trevor Reza, Dwight Howard. Uh, they picked up Malik Monk, Kendrick Nunn. Um, they took back Tucker. Um, and uh, who else? They got Marcus Soule. Oh, and Wayne Ellington. So, I'm assuming their starting lineup is going to be Russell, the Leak Monk, um, the Leak Monk, James, AD, and Marcus Hall. Their rotation. Kedrick Nunn, Wayne Ellington, um, Kedrick Nunn, Wayne Ellington, Mello, and uh, Dwight Howard. We're going to have a nine-man rotation. Ariza, Kent, couple, Ariza, Kent, um, uh, Oh, you can't even leave out Tucker. You can't even leave out. So, I mean, yeah, they, as far as their role, let me start over. Westbrook, Malik Monk, um, James, AD, and Gasol. The rotation, I'm going to say it's going to be Kendrick Nunn. No. I'm going to say Tucker. Tucker, Tucker going to be they, they backup point guard, a big backup point guard. Kendrick is going to play off ball. Melo, um, Tucker, Nunn, Melo, Wayne Ellington. I mean, he's going to come in, play some D, and stretch the floor and give them a couple threes. He's going to average a good six to eight, nine points, but just off of threes. Uh, and Dwight Howard. Ariza, he going to play a few games, but they're going to save him for the playoffs due to experience. 6'8", 6'9", wing player, defend, do little things. Um, that's pretty much their starting and rotation. You know, the Lakers fam, it's, it's now or, yo, it was a bust. Um, yeah, yeah. Yep. Lakers Lakers are deep, man. They deep. This is definitely their year. Uh shout out to the GM. Um I can't even I see his face. I can't put his name. I'm gonna call him Rob Lowe. Cause he look like he look like the actor Rob Lowe. He could be like his older brother or younger brother, whatever. Um Lakers A plus. A plus. Hands down. Hands down. A plus. Watch out for the Lakers, man. This is this is their year, hands down. As long as everybody is healthy, that's number one. And everybody play team ball, no ego. Whoever wins the MVP of the finals is whoever. As long as y'all got a chip, and that's all. Excuse me, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Um. So yes, yeah, so I just wanted to touch base on that. I'm about to go to the supermarket see what they got. And get ready for the uh, dip set versus the locks. All right, I'm gonna get back into that. And I just wanted to uh, do a Knicks part two and talk about the LA Lakers. Um, I got Lakers and a toss up between Brooklyn and Milwaukee. I'm gonna leave it like that.
Um, but we definitely gonna talk some more free agency. Uh, I'm just doing it piece by piece. But I say either tomorrow or Thursday, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna talk about the free agency. I'm gonna talk about the W's, the losses, the eh, you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that either tomorrow or by Thursday. All right. Um, but yeah. All right, yo, I'm a holler. Subscribe to the channel with the like button and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think, all right? All right.